What's next? Oh, well, everybody know who I want next. I want Terrence Crawford next. You're going to make that happen? Huh? You're going to make that happen? Oh, definitely. That's the fight that I want. That's the fight everybody else want. Like I said, I'm going to get these straps and I'm going to go over there and take his shit too. Because boxing, you mentioned wanting to become undisputed. What would it mean for the Earl Spence legacy to become the undisputed what the way Jeff Um, It would mean a lot, but I feel like, you know, me just continue continuing the fight and, uh, you know, after all the situa- after all the situations and you know stuff that I've been through, and to come back and still continue to fight, I feel like you know that means a lot more to myself. I showed you those clips to show you that either Errol Spence was never serious about becoming undisputed, or he changed his mind right after the car accident. Whichever one you want it to be. But he doesn't care about undisputed. How do you know that? Who would leave a weight class? Okay. Who would leave a weight class with only uno? One belt left to undisputed. And all you have been talking about to all your fans is becoming undisputed. You're literally one belt away from achieving what he said he always wanted to achieve. And you're going to move up. Do you know what that's equivalent to? Dropping out in the 12th grade. If you're going to drop out, you might as well drop out in the ninth. But you don't stay there all the way into the 12th and drop out. You might as well graduate. It's just that simple. You might as well go ahead and graduate. You look more dumb dropping out in the 12th than you do the ninth. And let me add some more mustard on this sandwich. If you know boxing, what usually happens to people who go up in weight and come back down? What is that a recipe for? Getting knocked out. Literally getting knocked out. And if he does go up in weight, do you see him coming back down to 147 after that? You know he was going to jump up several weight classes to fight Canelo. So did you see him dropping right back down to do a Terrence Crawford fight? Everybody knows that's how most of your favorite fighters got knocked out. Ask Roy. Hall of Famer, one of the greatest fighters of all time. Ask Roy about it. All that up and down in weight. And then... Will his body even be able to get back down to 147? So this is how you know, undisputed, it's not important to Errol Spence. He made y'all believe that. You heard the video. It's not more important to him than just continuing fighting. And all the signs show that. That's the only reason why you be hollering undisputed. Hold on. Let me make it even more potent than that. This is Mr. Strap Season, ain't it? How you gonna say Strap Season and you one strap away from having all the belts and you decide to move up? Come on, man. Come on, man. I thought it was Strap Season. He don't want undisputed because of the man that's holding the last belt. Bob Aram said something one time, and I never forgot it. He said that boxing fans are like a tin can on the street. They'll go whichever way you kick them. I never forgot that. And I bring that up to say that the boxing industry view boxing fans as dumb. They know you guys don't want to do the legwork. They know you're really not researching anything. They know that. Now, I'm going to say something to you. And once I say it to you, you're instantly going to understand and feel how dumb they think you are. You got people that are going around telling you that this fight didn't get made because Terrence Bud Crawford was going to fight his current opponent right now. 
do you realize that that fight got made because the Errol Spence fight got pushed till next year? It's that simple. It got pushed till next year. And to show you how much that doesn't affect anything, let's say Crawford wasn't fighting anybody. Guess what? The fight is still next year, 2023. Still. Still. So whether he fights a guy or he doesn't fight a guy, the Spence fight is still 2023. Yet they're telling you because Terrence Bud Crawford is fit to fight that that's the reason this fight didn't get made. Like I said, let's say he cancels the fight or don't fight at all. Are we going to get this fight uh, next month in November? No, we're not. So how could his fight delay, hold up the fight with Errol Spence when they pushed it till next year? And to add on top of that, there's no contract signed for it. It don't, it literally, this is too simple to understand. This is how dumb they think you are. If he cancels the fight right now, and since because this fight was supposedly reason that shit got held up, if he canceled this fight right now, what do you think? Negotiations going to pick back up and we going to get this next month? No, it's still next year. So like I said before, the only thing he has to do is be ready. That's it. So the fact that you got people to convince you that what Terrence Crawford is doing is the reason why you're not getting the Errol Spence fight is super retarded. What's next? Oh, well, everybody know who I want next. I want Terrence Crawford next. You mentioned wanting to become undisputed. What would it mean for the Errol Spence legacy to become the undisputed what the way Jeff has worked? Um, it would mean a lot, but I feel like, you know, we just continue continuing the fight and, uh, you know, out of all the situa after all the situations and, you know, stuff that I've been through and to come back and still continue to fight, I feel like, you know, that means a lot more to myself 